Yeah, what if God was just really horny and that's why he made everything the way it is? Dude, God, God created the hangnails, so we're not cool anymore. <laughs> Maybe that's that, God's thing, you know? Don't that shit judge. Really God. fucked me up that one time. All right, guys. The strategy is to attack all three of them at once. That's a good strategy. Someone sounded pretty dead. Ow. That was me. It's gonna be me. I literally walked Connor. through all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Connor, I made I the same exact I... mistake as you. Oh, fuck. I like that they're it's hitting you with blood form. move doesn't hurt that much, though. I died. Well. <laughs> oh, we almost did it, though. Okay, we'll just get you, we'll call you on the... phone. Cell phone. Something, something, you can be <laughs> no. my love. No. That, like, five seconds of hotline bling is the only thing I've ever heard by Drake that I was like, yeah, this is, you know, I can, I can listen to this. I don't see the appeal. And then I heard the verses on hotline bling and I was like, this is why I don't listen to Drake. I don't get Drake. I don't get Travis Scott. I don't get Post Malone. Hey, I'm there with you guys. I I don't I don't get any rapper ever, even even the good ones. I love rap. I get I get rappers. I get rap. I like Tyler a lot. I, I like Kendrick. I, I like. I used to. Nap. I used to listen to tons of rap, but now I'm like. Oh, I used not to listen to German song. rap. I remember that. I did used to listen. I used to listen to German rap, American rap. Old school shit is pretty old. Old school rap, that used to be fun. Uh, The Prof came out with a good album last year? Maybe this year? You know who had a good album a couple years ago out of fucking nowhere was D'Angelo. I don't know who that is. He, this is his first album in like... 10 years and he was like guys guess what this is a banger and everyone was like okay I don't listen to that music anymore because I thought maybe I'd start listening to good music instead oh I got him she'll never find me No, I'm here. <laughs> what does that note say, Connor? Totally gotta sneak up on him. What note? Oh man, speaking of fetishes. Woo. Yes. I what wonder stepping if stepping uh, in bloody piles of messed up people. That's definitely somebody's fetish. You know what I don't like is the fetish of stepping on people with high heels. Yeah. Uh. That just does not seem like a time that anyone should participate in. I remember when I was a little baby boy. Should I keep the bell lady alive? You do it. You do um, it, man. I kind of love her. Right. Um, but I remember when I was a little baby boy, my family was watching, uh, like, oh no. CSI oh Miami or some shit. Uh-huh. And, uh, and pe some people were at a foam party, and some guy slipped and fell, and then somebody else, uh, stepped on his neck with a, a pair of high heels, and that fucked me up for, like, a good three or four years. Yep. I remember when I was like three years old, I wore my mom's high heels and they took a picture of me and then I was like, I'm so cool. And I was, because there's nothing wrong with wearing your mom's shoes. You're right. But, you know. I actually um, remember when getting... I was like... Oops, sorry. Go ahead, Connor. More childhood trauma. Like... Go, Connor. When I was like three or four, there was like a part of a bath drain or something that had like sharp end on it or something Ooh. and I stepped on it and I just remember screaming and then 
I, j I was very young, and I, j I remember my dad telling my mom he's losing a lot of blood. And... <laughs> yeah, that's like all I remember. <laughs> I didn't know where that guy was. I may or may not have gone to the hospital, I can't remember, but I remember being in incredible pain and losing tons of blood. And just seeing blood all over my bathroom. When I was six, I was playing baseball with my dad, and the first good pitch I threw, he hit right back into my face. Oh no. Right, right under my oh. eye. And, like, oh. I remember standing up throwing the ball, and then I remember being on the ground, bleeding out of my eyeball. And we went to the emergency room and I got stitches. And I just, it was winter, it was like the, It was right, it was my cheekbone. Oh. Um, so it was right below my eye, right next to my nose, right above my jaw. It could have been a lot worse if it had been pretty much anywhere else on my face. Um, but I like held my mitten to my eye and it was just soaked with blood. I never saw that mitten again. Like, okay, cool. So my dad's an idiot, so he texts my mom, or calls my mom. He was like, hey, we're going to the hospital. Gabriel's been hit. <laughs> and she was like, buy a car? <laughs> and he was like, we were playing baseball. And she was like, so buy a car then? <laughs> they chase a ball into the street? Uh oh. And then he finally explained to her what happened. And she was like, oh, he'll be fine. And she like, packed my favorite stuff and went to the hospital the and gave me my teddy bear. <gasps> this is a good mom move. Yeah. Did you see that, uh, it was like a little while ago, uh, the, the, like, fucking lady who drove onto a baseball pitch in the middle of, like, a Little League game? Wow. And, like, fucking- That's what you call a home run! And, like, she ran what? over a guy, uh, like, uh, she- I don't know why, I think she was Wait. drunk or something. Fuck! Guys, I made the wrong baseball joke. That's what you call a grand slam! <laughs> Wait, what um, did the lady do? I, I... She she drove she drove onto a pitch in the middle of like a, a child's baseball game, and like ran over a guy and he died. Um, and he died Wait, like she like... drove her car in the middle of a baseball game. Yes, a little league game. Yeah. But why did she do that? I don't know, but the the here's the plot twist, is that the guy who got who got run over and killed, it turned out that he had done a hit and run like 40 or 50 years ago and had never gotten found out and just like one day just went to the police and was just like look you know literally like it, look in your files you have a cold case where this little five-year-old girl got dead that was me how did wow. he tell them when he died well he did it before that what did they what do you just do about that? But they didn't they didn't jail him. They're like, oh. I think the statute of limitations. Honesty, free to go. For like killing a five year old girl with a car. Yeah. You're allowed to do that what? as long as it was twenty years ago. <laughs> I don't know about. All right, should we uh? My. Should we go do this run for Connor now? Sure. No, let's just fight the big guy. He, he's just right here. Please, please. Okay, we can fight him. But Connor, if you need to get back, okay, if we die, then we'll do the run for you. Yeah, that's the point. That's okay. instead of just like leaving, let's just try to. Okay. Make sweet Bob. Hope I don't this die and ghost. lose my two million oh, souls. Weird. You can get five free blood vials from this guy. You've never oh, no. lost. Oh, nice! I can get it too. Yeah, this place is pretty good for farming um, yeah. bullets and blood vials. And... You're right. Oh, this is my favorite boss fight in the whole Soulsborne series. That seems wow. wrong, but okay. Second is Gale. I love all three of all four of these boss fights in the DLC. I did legitimately spend a month on this fight the first time. You want to know what fight 
and and this DLC gave me the most trouble. Living failures. Yep. Nice. I died to the living Just failures kidding. more than any other boss in this entire game. Wow. It lit it took me nice. like thirty tries. You're a the living failure. That that's ridiculous. No, 30 tries would have been nice if I killed Ludwig that quick. I literally just ran in here to die for like a straight month, but I loved it. I really loved each time feeling like I've learned a little bit more. I don't remember a thing about how to beat him, so I'm just gonna be dying. Um, when so. he jumps, fucking run. There's, there's four just phases. Just run. Yeah, because he's really two bosses in one. Wow, that does so much damage. Holy cow. This guy's fucking cool. <laughs> Somebody's speaking, but they're get they're all cut out. It's not me. I think it's Gabe. It's been happening to Gabe. Yeah, it's still happening to Gabe. No, it's not. It's yeah, it's, it's <laughs> This is really fun. Oh, fuck. Uh, run, 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 run. Oh, you just okay. look for the blood dripping from the ceiling and then just don't get under that. Oh, ow. Guys, look. Did we figure out who was cutting out? No. <laughs> no. Wow, that charge attack is bullshit. <laughs> Hit him in the butt. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you were by my side all along. Mm. Look at his mm. stupid fucking face. I love that he neighs. Yeah. Well, why is why is this guy turning into a horse? <laughs> the only guy that's turning into a horse. They Miyazaki there. And he was like, I've got to what the, face my fears somehow. Also, why are we letting him soliloquy to his sword and we're not hitting him in the dick right now? I feel like this is a moment you kind of have to respect. Fuck that. Look at him. What the to me? Uh-oh. Bye. Alright, so Andy, like in this phase, just watch out for the died. move where, um... Okay, I tried one. playing the game, but that, I got a phone okay. call. Oh, whoops. And then I died. Good news, Connor. <laughs> we all both did, too. <laughs> has been calling me every day. And I was like, Who? you know what, I'm gonna answer it in the middle of the stream. Podcast. You, and then you cut out like, there, so we didn't. We don't know who like it was. A bunch of stuff, and then whippity zoo da. I think this is the longest you know session what? of Bloodborne we've even... ever had. I know it's because for once I don't have to go right the fuck to bed. Although it's time for me to go right the fuck to bed very soon. Yeah, I, I've kind of been a little brain dead. Yeah, you just fucking festivaled it, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry my days off are on Monday and Tuesday. You good. I look forward to being able to do this on a work day. Yeah, I'd rather do it on a work day than a weekend, to be honest. Fair enough. Also, like, I just think I'll have more free time on a Monday night than I will guaranteed on a weekend. Fair enough. I didn't, I didn't collect what? any of the items. I guess I can do the rest of this by myself sometime. Or Good maybe just items. summon you guys again. So we well, gotta get the Bloodstorm Beast for you? Oh, yeah, and then there's blood... There's a lot of stuff to do, and Gabe has to go bad. Also dying. Dying dinner. That is a fancy... Is that dinner? That is a fancy dinner. This always happens to you, though, Connor. It looks fancy. What happens to me? That, uh, we gotta, like, rush through your end bit. Yeah. 
Maybe we should it's switch okay. it up. Maybe we should like do Connor first from now on. No, Andy first. Andy's the best. Have you seen his podcast? Our podcast is pretty good. You know? Oh. Oh god. I got cocky, kid. <laughs> <laughs>